All right, hello everyone. I haven't done a transit video in a while, but I just want to do this because I am very happy with Nice Bus, and I am very thrilled about this news because um, one of the reasons why I think Nice did this for a specific group that I'm going to be talking about is because um, the news got out today that non-essential personnel are being granted access to Northwell Health Facilities. So I'm figuring out, you know, my schedule because I have some personal stuff I have to take care of this month. But I'm hoping to be back on a full work schedule this summer. I'm only teasing that. So probably this had to do with the announcement from Northwell Health today that since non-essential personnel are being called back, nice bus apparently must have reached out to Mike Dowling or something, the CEO of Northwell. And anybody who's at Long Island Jewish or North Shore University Hospital, you need to pay attention to this news. Beginning June 27th, yeah, save the date, Monday, June 27th. This is beginning on weekdays, Monday through Friday. Pre-pandemic service is returning. Yes, you heard me correct. So we're going back to the schedule that was prior to, I would say, March of 2020. So this is very important because the headways now are inconvenient. You have to wait on average maybe a half hour, sometimes 40 minutes for a bus at North Shore University Hospital in Manhattan or Long Island Jewish in New Hyde Park. So this is excellent news. Not Again, Whoever did this with Nice Bus, again, thank you. Because if they had contacted Mike Dowling about this news, I am just thrilled. Okay? So it seems Mike Dowling's doing the right thing. He reinstates the non essential workers, and then today, this happens. So, and, and there's proof of that. My, one of my supervisors is back on the job today. So, that is important to note that. So I will bring up the N25 uh, shortly, but here we go. To accommodate growing passenger demand, adjustments to our summer schedules will provide faster and more frequent service as people begin to travel more. We have strategically added trips to the N1, N4, N4X, N6, N6X, N22, N23, N24, N25, N40, 41, N48, 49, and N70, 71, 72. Now, I will quickly bring up the 48, 49. If you are not aware, my colleague, um, Matt Camper, who runs Camper News Network, he regularly takes the N4849 on a weekly basis to his trip to Hicks, uh, to his job to Hicksville. So trip to Hicksville, job to Hicksville, same thing. So this is going to be good news for him. So I'll go over the N4849 schedule. Um, I'll try to go over the important routes, I guess, the east-west routes that matter. So I'll get into that. I don't want to go too in depth. But however, there is some bad news. N22X trips remain suspended. N16 frequency will now be improving. Now running every 30 minutes. After Roosevelt Field, the N16's new last first stop will now be the Endo Boulevard on uh, Nassau Community College campus. Local trips will only serve the East and the Nassau Community College. However, because of the summer, obviously this is understandable. Uh, N16 NCC and N16X from Queens. Those buses will be re suspended through the remainder of the summer. I would hope that maybe in the fall they will, you know, change that. Maybe more students will go back to campus in the fall semester, but we'll see about that. Now, this is something else I'm very happy about too. N20GH minor trip changes for better connections. So there's a good possibility that they're linking it up with the N25. Because again, if you have the non-essential personnel taking the bus from Manhattan or New Hyde Park, that matters. If they're going to take the bus east to Hicksville or the bus west to Flushing, that is very important. So again... Nice must have coordinated with Northwell Health because I, I have a theory that they must have. Because literally, I get the email today and I check Nice Bus's website. And I'm thinking, 
they have to accommodate the non-essential personnel. Because, you know, they're going to other sites, or like me, I'm going for leisure. So this is good news. This is good news. So let me take a look at some of the schedules. So we'll just start off with the N25, and we'll just go into that. I don't want to make this video too long, but I'll quickly show you this. And I'm very happy with Transdev. I'm going to give them credit for once they do the right thing for the riders. So for an example, normally when I went to Long Island Jewish, my dad would drop me off because it was convenient. I'd get the train east, wherever I need to go. Here's the good news. So for an example... You're going to have, on average, a 20-minute wait from 8.09 to 8.29, and et cetera, et cetera. This is good news. However, the bad news starts right after 11.24, heading to Limbrook. So, that's the bad news. However, the good news is on the peak at 4.21 p.m., they are accommodating the passengers every 20 minutes. So at least they're looking out for the riders in that sense. But bad news is you're pretty much out of luck after 1054 at Long Island Jewish. Now, if you are at, let's say, you know, North Shore, you'd be out of luck too. Now, I'm just going to take a look to see if we can find the uh, northbound service to Great Neck. And let me just move this a little bit to the left so you can see this. So as you can see here, uh, same thing that will happen. Somewhat similar. Actually, no, not similar. Ooh, okay, yeah. So after 2.03, you do get the 20-minute headway. So that's good news. So I'm noticing that as well. But if I'm going to Great Neck... I would be out of luck. I'd have to take the 1033 bus if I was heading up north. So, obviously, we know what Pine Power LI talks about. It's all part of the plan. They want to make us go to the South Shore. So, I'm not even going to get into that. It's quite obvious what's going on. Quite obvious. Let's just check the uh, N22 schedule very quickly. So, that's a Saturday. We want weekday. We want weekday. Yeah, the only bad news is, again, it's every half hour. But, on the bright side, I just want to see for the peak. Yeah, the peak, that's what matters. So, on the peak, I'm noticing from Hicksville, it's every 20 minutes. And then from Mineola, it's the same thing on the peak. So, that's good news. I wanted to pull up the N24. Alright, I'm just trying to go down to see how the weekday service would go. Yeah, same thing from Hicksville on the 24. So that's good news. At least I'm noticing there is, again, a 20-minute gap. Because if you're riding nice bus, that's what matters at the end of the day. Now, as far as the N20G and N20H, let's take a look at that very quickly. Now, from Hicksville, the bad news is you only get one... 20 minute interval yeah see that which is very unfortunate but how about great neck let's take a look at great neck yeah see great neck's getting more service yeah i'm noticing that see why is great neck getting more service on the n20g my only theory is maybe it's because cw post is out for the semester that's what i'm thinking yeah for an example, I want to take a look at something else because they claim on the website there's supposed to be an easy transfer period between buses. So this is only for this specific route and then I'm going to take a look at the N6 because I'll get into why I'm going to focus on the N6 in just a second. So let's just take a look and see the schedules once again. So I'm just curious at Great Neck. That's all I'm wondering here so they are giving frequent service now in the morning you're going to come from right oh, there's another bus that comes from Glen Cove right see I forgot about the Glen Cove part of the run yeah 
This great neck is right over here. Yeah, that's great neck. So you have 1040, which is the N20. Yeah, the N20H. But I'm looking for flushing ones. Yeah, see that? It's still frequent. 1058 AM, for an example. So let's say you're coming from Long Island Jewish or North Shore and you need to transfer to the bus. This is for weekday. I'm just making sure this is correct. Yeah, see that? This is Monday for Friday. Okay. I'm just making sure that this is it right here. There it is right there. 1058. And this is westbound. You're coming from Long Island Jewish. Ooh, see that? There's an issue right there. Great Neck at 11 a.m. So what bus would you take? Yeah. Yeah, okay. It wouldn't be that bad. You would only have to wait maybe 20 minutes. So, wouldn't be too bad, I guess. Oh, actually, no. Never mind. Not 20 minutes. No, my map is off. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, it's only 10, 10 minutes, maybe. Yeah. So I'll give Crazy Bus credit. It's the only time I'm going to call them that tonight. But it is crazy to think that you're actually getting the service that you need. Now, let's just take a look at the N6 because I want to see how frequent that gap is. Okay, yeah, so there's some good news. There is a headway of good service. They're focusing on that, but what about the rest of the day? Yeah. Yeah, see that? The last ends. Okay, I don't get it. Where is the rest of the schedule? Yeah, what are they doing with the N6? I don't get what they're doing here. This is so confusing. They're not giving enough frequent service on Hempstead Turnpike? Okay, what's going on here? Are they cutting back on service? Because I am so confused. Unless maybe... Yeah, here's the Saturday schedule. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, look at that. Ooh, that is going to be a problem. Then you have the nightly. So I don't get it. Is this... Let's see. During these periods, a bus arrives every 10 minutes or less rush hours or every 16 minutes or less over time. Yeah, see that? That's what they have over here on the N6. So that's confusing me. I don't understand what nice bus is doing here, but... At least they're giving you the N20X on Monday from Friday. Which is good news in a sense, but it only runs every 20 minutes from Hempstead. But from Jamaica, yeah. Again, this is so confusing. Is it supposed to run every 15 minutes? I believe so, yeah. Because the dot dot denotes the p.m. time. See, that's what makes this so confusing is that I can't figure out is this in the morning or is this in the afternoon? Yeah, maybe it's just going to run every frequently, so I'll have to take a look because Saturday would be a problem because I need to get over to not Franklin Avenue, no, Nassau Boulevard uh, in July if I can't get a lift over out to West Hempstead. So that's going to be an issue if I can't get the bus in Queens Village. That's going to be a problem. So what I want to check right now is the N15. I want to take a look at that. And then we'll wrap it up with the N4041. I want to take a look at that for a second. N15. So let's take a look and see if the N15 is getting frequent service. Ah, uh, okay, so in the morning of Long Beach, they are getting a 20-minute... Wait a minute, hang on. This is actually frequent. This is actually 10 minutes. Wow, okay, so that's a little bit more frequent. But what about in the afternoon? Oh, okay, in the afternoon, the, the 15 is getting more frequent service. So that's good news. 
You're going to Long Beach. That's what matters. Okay? You don't need that. Okay? Later on. Yeah, but look at this. Why is Long Beach getting more service from Long Beach? Why are they getting more service on the M15 from Long Beach? I mean, I don't want to get into it again. It, it's quite obvious what's going on with Nice Bus. No, I don't want to take a look at that. I want the 4849. Let me pull up the 4041. I want the 4849. Yeah, there we go. See, this is the route that Camp uh, Matt Camper rides. So let's take a look and see what we have here. Okay, Monday through Friday, how are we looking? Oh, man, you got to be kidding me. This is oh, this half-hour intervals. And, and look at this. From Hempstead, look at this. Almost a 40-minute gap? This is wrong. This is, this is awful. This should be a 20-minute gap. You know, this is not good. There's only a 20-minute gap during peak. You know, look at this. Eastbound from Hempstead. And then from Hempstead going what? From Hicksville going west. Yeah, okay, you do have the 20 minute interval going west. Yeah, that's a little bit ridiculous. But then you have the 20 minute interval beginning at. Uh, let's see. No, there's not even a 20 minute interval. No. All half hourly on the 48 49 going from Hicksville. So that's the only flaw I have with Nice Bus's schedule. They need to figure out how to improve the frequency on the 4849. I mean, even though I don't take it that much. But I will say, I'm very happy with Nice Bus. And again, thank you very much to, I guess, TransDev in a sense. And, you know, as I said, this is probably coordinated because you know how busy it's going to get this summer. The ridership's going to keep going up. And especially how, again, just today... Effective immediately, all non-essential Northwell staff was granted access to the to facilities today. So, I will just bring that up. So, that's just my quick overview of the NICE bus schedules that are going to start on Monday, June 27th. So, again, um, to anybody at North Shore in Manhattan or Long Island Jewish in New High Park, I would suggest to download these schedules as soon as possible because this is going to really make your ride a little bit easier for the summer. And again, if I'm back at Long Island Jewish and I'm going for leisure, this is definitely going to help me if I'm taking the Long Island Railroad this summer. So with that, thank you all very much for watching. And until the next one, please take care.